Ridges regions of increased gene expression are domains of the genome with a high gene expression, the opposite of ridges are antiridges. The term was first used by Karen A. Al. in 2001. Characteristics of ridges are Gene dense Contain many C and G nucleobases Genes have short introns High sign repeat density Low line repeat density Topic Discovery Clustering of genes in prokaryotes was known for a long time. Their genes are grouped in operons. Genes within operons share a common promoter unit. These genes are mostly functionally related. The genome of prokaryotes is relatively very simple and compact. In eukaryotes the genome is huge and only a small amount of it are functionally genes, furthermore the genes are not arranged in operons. Except for nematodes and trypanosomes, although their operons are different from the prokaryotic operons. In eukaryotes each gene has a transcription regulation site of its own. Therefore, genes don't have to be in close proximity to be co-expressed. Therefore, it was long assumed that eukaryotic genes were randomly distributed across the genome due to the high rate of chromosome rearrangements. But because the complete sequence of genomes became available it became possible to absolutely locate a gene and measure its distance to other genes. The first eukaryote genome ever sequenced was that of Saccharomyces cerevisiae, or budding yeast, in 1996. Half a year after that Velculescu et al. 1997 published a research in which they had integrated SAGE data with the now available genome map. During a cell cycle different genes are active in a cell. Therefore, they used SAGE data from three moments of the cell cycle log phase, S phase arrested and G2, M phase arrested cells. Because in yeast all genes have a promoter unit of their own it was not suspected that genes would cluster near to each other but they did. Clusters were present on all 16 yeast chromosomes. A year later Cho et al. also reported although in more detail that certain genes are located near to each other in yeast. <laughs> Characteristics and function <laughs> Co-expression Cho et al. were the first who determined that clustered genes have the same expression levels. They identified transcripts that show cell cycle dependent periodicity. Of those genes 25% was located in close proximity to other genes which were transcript in the same cell cycle. Cohen et al. 2000 also identified clusters of co-expressed genes. Karen et al. 2001 made a human transcriptomy map of 12 different tissues cancer cells and concluded that genes are not randomly distributed across the chromosomes. Instead, genes tend to cluster in groups of sometimes 39 genes in close proximity. Clusters were not only gene dense. They identified 27 clusters of genes with very high expression levels and called them ridges. A common ridge counts 6 to 30 genes per century. However, there were great exceptions, 40 to 50% of the ridges were not that gene dense, just like in yeast these ridges were located in the telomere regions. Lurcher et al. 2002 pointed to some weaknesses in Karen's approach. 
Clusters of genes in close proximity and high transcription levels can easily be generated by tandem duplicates. Genes can generate duplicates of themselves which are incorporated in their neighborhood. These duplicates can either become a functional part of the pathway of their parent gene, or because they are no longer favored by natural selection gain deleterious mutations and turn into pseudogenes. Because these duplicates are false positives in the search for gene clusters they have to be excluded. Lurcher excluded neighboring genes with high resemblance to each other, after that he searched with a sliding window for regions with 15 neighboring genes, it was clear that gene-dense regions existed. There was a striking correlation between gene density and a high CG content. Some clusters indeed had high expression levels. But most of the highly expressed regions consisted of housekeeping genes, genes that are highly expressed in all tissues because they code for basal mechanisms. Only a minority of the clusters contained genes that were restricted to specific tissues. Vestig et al. 2003 tried, with a better human genome map and better SAGE tax, to determine the characteristics of ridges more specific. Overlapping genes were treated as one gene, and genes without introns were rejected as pseudogenes. They determined that ridges are very gene-dense, have a high gene expression, short introns, high sign repeat density and low line repeat density. Clusters containing genes with very low transcription levels had characteristics that were the opposite of ridges, therefore those clusters were called antiridges. Line repeats are junk DNA which contains a cleavage site of endonuclease TTTTA. Their scarcity in ridges can be explained by the fact that natural selection favors the scarcity of line repeats in ORFs because their endonuclease sites can cause deleterious mutation to the genes. Why sign repeats are abundant is not yet understood. Vestig et al. also concluded that, contrary to Lurch's analysis, the transcription levels of many genes in ridges for example a cluster on chromosome 9 can vary strongly between different tissues. Lee et al. 2003 analyzed the trend of gene clustering between different species. They compared Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Homo sapiens, Kynorhabditis elegans, Arabidopsis thaliana and Drosophila melanogaster, and found a degree of clustering, as fraction of genes in loose clusters, of respectively 37%, 50%, 74%, 52% and 68%. They concluded that pathways of which the genes are clusters across many species are rare. They found seven universally clustered pathways, glycolysis, aminoacyl-tRNA biosynthesis, ATP synthase, DNA polymerase, hexachlorocyclohexane degradation, cyanoamino acid metabolism, and photosynthesis, ATP synthesis in non-plant species. Not surprisingly these are basic cellular pathways, Li al. used very diverse groups of animals. Within these groups clustering is conserved, for example the clustering motifs of Homo sapiens and Moose musculus are more or less the same. Spellman and Rubin made a transcriptomy map of Drosophila. Of all assayed genes 20% was clustered. Clusters consisted of 10 to 30 genes over a group size of about 100 kilobases. The members of the clusters were not functionally related and the location of clusters didn't correlate with no chromatin structures. This study also showed that within clusters the expression levels of on average 15 genes was much the same across the many experimental conditions which were used. 
These similarities were so striking that the authors reasoned that the genes in the clusters are not individually regulated by their personal promoter but that changes in the chromatin structure were involved. A similar co-regulation pattern was published in the same year by Roy A. Al, 2002 in C. elegans. Many genes which are grouped into clusters show the same expression profiles in human invasive ductal breast carcinomas. Roughly 20% of the genes show a correlation with their neighbors. Clusters of co-expressed genes were divided by regions with less correlation between genes. These clusters could cover an entire chromosome arm. Contrary to previous discussed reports Johnidas et al. 2005 have discovered that at least some genes within clusters are not co-regulated. Air is a transcription factor which has an up and down regulation effect on various genes. It functions in negative selection of thymocytes, which responds to the organism's own epitopes, by medullary cells, the genes that were controlled by air clustered. 53 of the genes most activated by air had an air-activated neighbor within 200 kilobits or less, and 32 of the genes most repressed by air had an air-repressed neighbor within 200 kilobits, this is less than expected by change. They did the same screening for the transcriptional regulator CIITA. These transcription regulators didn't have the same effect on AL genes in the same cluster. Genes that were activated and repressed or unaffected were sometimes present in the same cluster. In this case, it's impossible that air-regulated genes were clustered because they were all co-regulated. So it is not very clear if domains are co-regulated or not. A very effective way to test this would be by insert synthetic genes into ridges, antiridges and or random places in the genome and determine their expression. Those expression levels must be compared to each other. Gearman et al. 2007 were the first who proved co-regulation using this approach. As an insertion construct they used a fluorescing GFP gene driven by the ubiquitously expressed human phosphoglycerate kinase PGK promoter. They integrated this construct in 90 different positions in the genome of human HEK293 cells. They found that the expression of the construct in ridges was indeed higher than those inserted in antiridges while all constructs have the same promoter, they investigated if these differences in expressions were due to genes in the direct neighborhood of the constructs or by the domain as a whole. They found that constructs next to highly expressed genes were slightly more expressed than others but when to enlarge the window size to the surrounding 49 genes domain level, they saw that constructs located in domains with an overall high expression had a more than two-fold higher expression than those located in domains with a low expression level. They also checked if the construct was expressed at similar levels as neighboring genes, and if that tight co-expression was present solely within ridges. They found that the expressions were highly correlated within ridges, and almost absent near the end and outside the ridges. Previous observations and the research of Gearman et al. proved that the activity of a domain has great impact on the expression of the genes located in it. And the genes within a ridge are co-expressed. However the constructs used by Gearman et al. were regulated by AL full-time active promoter. The genes of the research of Johnidas et al. were dependent of the present of the air transcription factor. The strange expression of the air-regulated genes could partly have been caused by differences in expression and conformation of the air transcription factor itself. Uh, 
Topic: <laughs> Functional relation. It was known before the genomic era that clustered genes tend to be functionally related. Abdurrahim et al. 1994 had shown that all the genes of the major histocompatibility complex were clustered on the 6p21 chromosome. Roy et al. 2002 showed that in the nematode C. elegans genes that are solely expressed in muscle tissue during the larval stage tend to cluster in small groups of two to five genes. They identified 13 clusters. Yamashita et al. 2004 showed that genes related to specific functions in organs tend to cluster. Six liver-related domains contained genes for xenobiotic, lipid and alcohol metabolism. Five colon-related domains had genes for apoptosis, cell proliferation, ion transporter and mucin production. These clusters were very small and expression levels were low. Brain and breast related genes didn't cluster. This shows that at least some clusters consist of functionally related genes. However, there are great exceptions. Spellman and Rubin have shown that there are clusters of co expressed genes that are not functionally related. It seems like that clusters appear in very different forms. topic regulation Cohen et al found that of a pair of co-expressed genes only one promoter has an upstream activating sequence UAS associated with that expression pattern They suggested that UASs can activate genes that are not in immediate adjacency to them this explanation could explain the co-expression of small clusters, but many clusters contain too many genes to be regulated by a single UAS. Chromatin changes are a plausible explanation for the co-regulation seen in clusters. Chromatin consists of the DNA strand and histones that are attached to the DNA. Regions where chromatin is very tightly packed are called heterochromatin. Heterochromatin consists very often of remains of viral genomes, transposons and other junk DNA. Because of tight packing the DNA is almost unreachable for the transcript machinery, covering deleterious DNA with proteins is the way in which the cell can protect itself. Chromatin which consists of functional genes is often an open structure where the DNA is accessible. However, most of the genes are not needed to be expressed all the time. DNA with genes that aren't needed can be covered with histones. When a gene must be expressed special proteins can alter the chemical that are attached to the histones histone modifications that cause the histones to open the structure. When the chromatin of one gene is opened, the chromatin of the adjacent genes is also until this modification meets a boundary element. In that way genes is close proximity are expressed on the same time. So, genes are clustered in expression hubs. In comparison with this model Gilbert et al. 2004 showed that ridges are mostly present in open chromatin structures, however Johnidas et al. 2005 have shown that genes in the same cluster can be very differently expressed. How eukaryotic gene regulation, and associated chromatin changes, precisely works is still very unclear and there is no consensus about it. In order to get a clear picture about the mechanism of gene clusters first the workings chromatin and gene regulation needs to be illuminated. 
Furthermore, most papers that identified clusters of co-regulated genes focused on transcription levels whereas few focused on clusters regulated by the same transcription factors. John Ides et al. discovered strange phenomena when they did. Origins <inaudible> 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 The first models which tried to explain the clustering of genes were, of course, focused on operons because they were discovered before eukaryote gene clusters were. In 1999 Lawrence proposed a model for the origin operons. This selfish operon model suggests that individual genes were grouped together by vertical and horizontal transfer and were preserved as a single unit because that was beneficial for the genes, not per se for the organism. This model predicts that the gene clusters must have conserved between species. This is not the case for many operons and gene clusters seen in eukaryotes. According to Eichler and Sankoff, the two mean processes in eukaryotic chromosome evolution are one rearrangements of chromosomal segments and two localized duplication of genes. Clustering could be explained by reasoning that all genes in a cluster are originated from tandem duplicates of a common ancestor. If all co-expressed genes in a cluster were evolved from a common ancestral gene it would have been expected that they're co-expressed because they all have comparable promoters. However, gene clustering is a very common tread in genomes and it isn't clear how this duplication model could explain all of the clustering. Furthermore, many genes that are present in clusters are not homologous. How did evolutionary non-related genes come in close proximity in the first place? Either there is a force that brings functionally related genes near to each other, or the genes came near by change. Singer et al. proposed that genes came in close proximity by random recombination of genome segments. When functionally related genes came in close proximity to each other, this proximity was conserved. They determined all possible recombination sites between genes of human and mouse. After that, they compared the clustering of the mouse and human genome and looked if recombination had occurred at the potentially recombination sites. It turned out that recombination between genes of the same cluster was very rare. So, as soon as a functional cluster is formed recombination is suppressed by the cell. On sex chromosomes, the amount of clusters is very low in both human and mouse. The authors reasoned this was due to the low rate of chromosomal rearrangements of sex chromosomes. Open chromatin regions are active regions. It is more likely that genes will be transferred to these regions. Genes from organelle and virus genome are inserted more often in these regions. In this way non-homologous genes can be pressed together in a small domain. It is possible that some regions in the genome are better suited for important genes. It is important for the cell that genes that are responsible for basal functions are protected from recombination. It has been observed in yeast and worms that essential genes tend to cluster in regions with a small replication rate. It is possible that genes came in close proximity by change. Other models have been proposed, but none of them can explain all observed phenomena. It's clear that as soon as clusters are formed they are conserved by natural selection. However, a precise model of how genes came in close proximity is still lacking. The bulk of the present clusters must have formed relatively recent because only seven clusters of functionally related genes are conserved between phyla. 
Some of these differences can be explained by the fact that gene expression is very differently regulated by different phyla. For example, in vertebrates and plants DNA methylation is used, whereas it is absent in yeast and flies. See also Chromatin DNA sequence Transcription factor Notes <laughs> <laughs>